Hi guys, it is Design Team Challenge Week again once more. This time it is Brighten Up Sunshine, planning with things that make you think of the sunshine. Now, I've got a mix of two kits, which is kind of cheating I suppose. Um, I've got the Unicorn Dreams kit and I've pulled out a few select sheets from the kit. I was saving this for September in my planner because it fits with the colours so perfectly. Um, that I wanted to use it then, but I didn't think it was sunshiny enough, so I have included some of my stickers from the Summer Sunset uh, palette that Rachel did earlier in the year. I picked up all of those sheets because they are predominantly orange, and if you haven't yet worked out that I don't that orange is my favourite colour, then obviously I'm doing something wrong on my videos. So I'm going to combine bits of the two to create my summery, sunshiny spread, um, which I think would be really nice at the end of the holidays before I have to go back to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these and move these out the way. Um, as you can see, it's a really busy week. I have begun pre-planning in my planner using post-its, and this is as far as I got this week. A note that it was the design team challenge, and a note that there is a bank holiday. Love a good bank holiday, me. Um, I'm going to use this lovely glittery washi to go at the top, and I, I'm going to go over the black dots. I'm not too worried about that today, I don't think. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm going to do that all the way across the page. That's not very straight, is it? Should we try this again? I hope so. Now what I'm hoping to do for this week is once I've done this plan with me video, I'm hoping to do another plan with me video planning in my passion planner, my academic classic horizon blue, a bit of mouth there, finally turned up this week um, and so I've been playing around with that and having loads and loads of fun. So hopefully... I'll be able to get another Plan With Me video for the same week using the same kit is my intention. Um, I have been using similar kits between my Passion Planner and my Dissertation Planner um, up until now, but I've decided I'm going to use the same kit in both planners at the same time. Both my main planners because I haven't until now on the basis that I like to look at different things at different times. But since the holidays, this has kind of been more of a journey type planner, and I've mainly been doing sort of planning, planning in my passion planner. Um, I thought it didn't really matter for this week. So I've done wash at the top. I'm going to use the weekend strip, I've decided, here to go across the top of Saturday. That's it. I'm trying to think of words there. Words are eluding me a little bit at the moment for some bizarre reason. I've done that several times today. I've stood there and gone, you know, the um, the um, thingy, what should we call it, the doodad. So, we'll get there in the end. And in my failed video, my failed plan with me video, in my ha using the little bit fierce kits, um, I did comment on how I love the fact that although this doesn't fit perfectly, I'm taking off just one weekend so I'm not cutting halfway through a word or anything like that I'm just taking up one bit of the weekend which is fine and dandy by me okay so next I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to do the date covers I think but I'm going to tip x over these beforehand because of how pale the unicorn dreams kit is it's very easy for things to show through. Having used the tiny kit in my mini happy planner already, I do love how perfectly the mini. Oh, oh, that that mouse is dead. Um, sorry. I do love how the tiny kits fit so nicely in the mini happy planner. I'm just going to peel this up to white out Saturday so I don't get it on the sticker. Um, yeah. As soon as I'd done the Unicorn Dreams kit in my 
mini happy planner I had to then instantly go and purchase all the other tiny kits that I, ha I could possibly get my hands on because um, evidently I have a problem with things like that um, <laughs> I mean like in a jokey way so white out of those and then I'm going to put them down now there are the date the numbers but what I think I'm going to do is actually hand write them on the clouds so in this white space here I think I'm going to put them so I don't block out the, rain the rainbow because I like the rainbow the rainbow is happy the rainbow comes with the sunshine after the storm so that's quite cool I know I've seen on um, Facebook and Instagram quite a few people saying they're going to use this kit as well so it'll be interesting to see how different people use this kit. I have already seen um, people sharing their weekly spreads where they've used it and some of them look gorgeous. Um, I think it was Andrea, I'm not sure. Um, she shared hers the other day and it was a predominantly white space spread but it had all the full boxes in and I just thought it was gorgeous now do I want to put that down a bit I'm gonna put that down a bit so it's under the weekend so it's me thinking out loud again I did watch back the last video um, and the last video the last video I filmed so I'm filming quite a few videos in advance because I've got a few things coming up so last video I filmed, I watched back and I did think, oh my goodness, you're burbling the whole way through. I'm just talking out loud and verbalising what I'm thinking, which I suppose might be good for some people, but for others they're probably thinking, what on earth are you on? Um, so, what I have been doing during the holidays, which I've really enjoyed doing, I say really enjoyed, it's been really helpful, is I've been doing like a top three of the day. So top three tasks I want to get done. Now, I was looking earlier and the spacing on three heart checklists is slightly different to these ones on this sheet. It isn't on this one because I did try and lay it out and I might be able to squeeze a three in on the line to give me a bit of spacing. So I'm going to try and mix these three heart checklists with these. Oh, I've just had a thought just had a thought where are my sticker supplies bear with me one moment if this pans out this is brilliant I've just lost an entire book of stickers so I keep my stickers in different display books all over the place um, like these and I've just had this oh what have I done with it just thinking the peacock palette little book of sticker rating would look wonderful with this and it's all blues so it would look really really nice but I can't find what I've done with it how careless of me unless it's fallen in the box it's fallen in the box. <gasps> Panic over, people. Panic over. I've found the little book of sticker rating. So, in here, there we go. There are some little three heart checklists, which I believe are the same size, pretty much as these little beauties. So, if I mix and match those, that could work. <sighs> Sorry. You're probably all thinking now that I'm a little bit crazy. I would agree with you. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of crazy in our lives, though is my view. So that kind of just fits, so I've still got the space for top three under the day. So I'm going to do that one there. I'm going to pop in this little guy here. Love that glitter. I find at the moment I'm getting, because the way I've changed the, my my planning, because the way I've changed the way, uh, let me start again, because I've changed the way that I plan, thank you very much, that's the way. Um, I'm not using as many of the checklists. I used to use loads of checklists, the, these ones, and then of like the boxes, but now I'm using more boxes and less checklists. So, hey ho. Um, let's go for a yellow, mix it up a little bit. Um, I'm also very conscious while I'm doing this that the traffic outside is unusually busy, and I'm not quite sure why, but hey ho. 
it's just background noise. It's probably a different background noise to me wittering on about goodness knows what. There we go. So, the week that we are planning is the last week of the summer holidays. Slightly sad times, slightly good times, can't quite decide. I have definitely enjoyed my time off. However, I have also felt that I've been going slightly up the walls and slightly crazy. So, going back to work is probably a good thing. I think my husband will be happy that I've gone back to work. Um, he did laugh at my Instagram post of the day. So, part of the August challenge was to it was um, grateful for was one of the prompts and. I don't really put a lot of gratitude in at the moment in um, my planner, so it's not like I could easily pick up a bit of something I'd written before. So I shared a picture of his forehead, which is his favourite picture of himself, and um, he thought it was really funny. And that was that. Anyway, so top three done. Those are done. Um, I have got here my headers and little things so i'm going to put my meals down underneath um so on a few of the weeks where i've been doing this setup over the summer sometimes i've put my meals and my water at the top sometimes i've put them at the bottom um doesn't really make much difference but i just thought having that checklist sort of topped and tailed might look quite nice she says, I've suddenly realised that because I've picked up two kits, my desk is even more covered in stickers than normal while I'm putting my stickers down. So when it comes to me trying to find things shortly, you might have to bear with me a moment or two. Anyway, so yeah, I will definitely enjoy this last week. Definitely going to make some space for some me time. Um, we are going away the weekend of this week um, which I'm looking forward to because we're seeing my friends um, um, yeah we've just done I'm trying to as I said I'm trying to do quite a few videos in one go just because I'm away a lot and we've just because my husband's off this week we have just we've done a really deep clean of our bedroom and moved everything around and in the process of doing so I've cleared done things like clear out underneath the bed and all that horrible stuff and it's just thrown dust all over the house so I feel completely stuffed up with cold um right hydration trackers do I want to put them down yes I do so I'm going to go to my functional book of stickers and try to find my hydration stickers there we go now because i have lots of these sheets because i think these are possibly one of my new favorite stickers um i could possibly just do the whole week in blue so it's kind of matching the unicorn dreams kit a little bit more um which i'm going to try and do actually i think i'm going to stick with that and i'm going to throw in some of the darker ones as well kind of pick up on the um, peacock stickers if I decide to do any more of those. So, there we go. Right. As I was saying, I've been I've really loved doing the August challenge this month. I don't know if anyone else has been taking part in the Ellie Beth photo challenge, but I've really enjoyed it because it's sort of made me stop and think about different things on different days so thinking about things like different parts of your planner how you do different things um which has been really nice so one of them was sidebar which i was like i can't do that anymore i don't use a vertical planner well i use use a vertical planner for uni but i'm not sharing that that's quite personal and i'm like i don't know what i'm gonna do how, how am i gonna manage that and then I looked through and realised that, you know, I kind of have a daily sidebar now rather than a weekly. Um, I don't know if this setup will carry on when I go back to work, just because I do, as I said before, put a lot of things in my planner when it comes to term time. I'm going to chuck in a sort of a yellowy-orange hydration sticker 
just for a bit more sunshine. This is already looking slightly mad and I quite like it at the same time. Um, this one is almost a hint of purple in it, but I think that's okay, to be perfectly honest. And then I can't quite fit Saturdays in because the way I set it up. I'm going to be honest, this is going to annoy me. This is one of those occasions where I'm going to peel and restick because I'm not quite sure how else I'm going to make it all fit in my head. So there we go. And you've probably noticed as well, this page is a little bit stiff. You might not have noticed it. Um, I am going to probably film in the next couple of days a plan with me for the following week. Um, but I've been saving a particular kit for a specific purpose and I undenied about how I was going to fit it into my horizontal planner and I decided I just couldn't there was no way that was going to happen so I took the same week out of a vertical um, happy planner that I didn't finish last year and I've stuck it on the back um, to do some vertical planning next week just so I can use a kit that I really want to use so that's why that is perhaps a little bit stiffer than normal okay so that's that now um, I want to do down here next I think so and I'm not going to use my unicorn dreams thing I think or am I hmm actually I am I'm going to save the I was going to put the unicorn I'm going to save the unicorn this is just what unicorns dream about. This is not actual unicorns. So there we go. Now, there is another piece of washi in this kit. If I can find the page that has the washi. There we go. It is a wide... Oh, no. It is a wider piece of washi compared to the two that I've put at the top. Um, so it's just not coming away very nicely there. So I'm just trying to peel it off. Yeah, it's a bit wider than the other two. But I think for the bottom where I end up with quite a bit of space normally anyway, it will be fine. And it just covers up everything, adds a bit more of the sunshininess to the spread as well. Oh, for goodness sake, come on. There we go. That is a rarity with Rachel stickers that they don't come up smoothly. I have bought from shops before where I've spent, you know, most of the kit trying to peel them off the sheet and peel them apart. That is very rare that that should happen. I've not had that with one of her kits yet. Um, so I'm just going to put that across here. And I am going to trim it down here and like the top. Um, very carefully so I don't go through the whole page there we go just to give us a little bit more down the side and I'm going to pop this little fella in here there we go and hmm I'm going to go with, am I going to go with the glittery one or the orange one I'm going to go with the glittery one There we go. I refer to what I said before. I can't remember which video I said it in or when I said it, but I did say I'd had a delivery note that had on it stickers peel better from the left. I need to remember my own advice. Now I have put that right down this time. I don't always, I quite often have it poking over the top, but um, I've decided to try and even it out this week, see how I feel about it sticking over the bottom instead. Um, let's give it a little trim. And um, just because I'd quite like to have a bit more space at the weekends, I think. I've, going through this month, I found the weekends are very busy and it's not a lot during the week. Now, I know it's because I'm not at work and things happen at the weekends, but I find that I don't have as much space. So if I can knock this down a bit, it gives me more space. That makes sense to me. Okay, um, what shall I put in next? I'm 
just deciding which headers to use because now I've because I've done this I've given myself so many I can either go blue or I can go orange and I'm going to use these checklists because they're gorgeous and I don't know which way to go okay there's one way to do this I'm going to peel up a today header well I've got the pale ones well, haven't I the yellow oh. Okay, I'm going to mix the yellows and the pale blues, I think, rather than going glittery on this. And I'm going to do like a second sidebar down here um, for sort of a routine for the day, just to kind of get myself back into the habit of following a routine, I think. What should I put next to it? I'm going to put it next to it, I think, actually, after instead. So when I first started filling things in in my classic, it was July, I was at work, and I did end up almost with four columns, um, which worked quite well actually. Um, it does mean that, you know, I can mix between my prioritising and we'll just see how it pans out just decided this is what I'm going with so I'm going to go with it these stickers do not want to peel there we go I don't know why Let's give you a bit of gentle encouragement shall we there we go gentle encouragement done obviously it's in a stubborn mood this sticker this is where I kind of feel the phrase commit to the sticker comes into its own when you are committing to the fact that you are going to use that sticker no matter how much that sticker might not want to be used. Um, slightly different interpretation I suppose from some of the others but it's, it's amused me so that's fine. I do love the base palette of this kit. Those blues are just so lovely. And I do love how it fits with um, just this month. I had a couple of kits where I was like, oh, I really like that. Oh, that would work so well with that month and that month. And I suppose the nice thing about the Happy Planner I've got is that there's only a certain number of colours after a certain number of months. It kind of switches back to a different colour. So I can get behind that. So, there we go. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to do um, the challenge in my passion planner as well. Because I've loved going back to using my passion planner. And I haven't decided whether I'm also going to include my mini happy planner in that setup or not. Um, I don't really have any sunshine kits to use in my mini happy planner. But, I mean, there's all the glittery stuff I could use. Because um, I'm kind of saving kits I've got at the moment. Um, I'm still trying to stockpile on stuff for that one. But if I do, there won't be a plan with me for that one. I will just post it on Instagram. But there we go. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. Sorry, do you ever go through and you just love the way things go down and you get excited about the stickers? I feel a bit like that at the moment. Because I do really like the way that has turned out. And yeah, there's all little bits where things overlap or don't quite meet or whatever, but it's kind of a bit like me really. So do yeah, I'm sticking with that I think. Um, let's go for the super pale one over here. Line it up and I'm going to go with the darker list. Oh, there's too much difference. There's a subtle gradation on the checklists in this kit, I think is the way to describe it. Subtle gradation. Um, 
because if you just if you, you can see it just kind of very slowly changing the gradient on each box although still being the same tones it is a gorgeous set of colors and much more me than a lot of the pink kits I can't remember when I was doing my mini happy plan with me I was saying how I buy kits and always seem to end up with loads of pink even though pink is not necessarily my colour but that's fine because I got very excited the day I found a blue flamingo kit um, which sounds a bit of a contradiction having a blue flamingo kit but it works quite well do I want a coloured one? No, I'm going to stick with blue um, it's, it's got a blue base to it so that, and I mean the flamingos then really stand out um, but a lot of flamingo kits are very pink um, although I did like the one that Rachel did earlier in the year which um, had sort of more corals and like some really nice lime green with it as well which worked really really well so that's I really like the way that's turned out so I could do sort of like my this could almost be like a daily check-in list so I've gone through I'll talk in another video about some of the stuff I've done with my, my passion planner I'm trying to get in the habit of doing like check-in tasks have I done this have I done that um there's a bit of accountability there we go right um I need some big event labels now Ooh, let's go let's go sunny let's go for these so it is bank holiday on Monday so I'm gonna go for bank holiday now I got very excited I have had for a long time my black ink joy gel pens went to Asda they would got some coloured ones for a tenner very excited about that so I'm gonna put bank holiday in orange because orange is sunny And I like orange. So I'm going to pop that down. And I think I'm actually going to pop him over here. Out the way a bit. Sorry, that dust is starting to get to me. I'm sniffing again. I do apologise. Um, oh. And then what else am I doing? We're going away on Saturday overnight to see our friends for his birthday so could use one of these one of those one of these see even got a yellow one don't know if this will stand out though um if i put actually if i put his birthday down um the yellow might stand out on that so his actual birthday is on friday Um, then there are a load of people going down early on Saturday to go and do paintballing, which we're not doing, and then we're all going out for drinks afterwards. So, weekend banner. Yep, yeah, I'm going to put the weekend banner down before I put that box down, I think. Oh, look at that. That is a perfect fitting. Absolute perfection. There we go. Um, what was I doing? I was going to go for one of these, wasn't I? And I think, actually, I'm going to overlap it across the two. Uh, I'm going to use my blue one. And so I, I pre-planned which pens I was going to use to match this kit as well. Um... So I'm just going to put that on there for now. And then what else do I have going on that week? I don't think I have a lot going on that week. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it is the holidays. Um, I'm going to put my planning session down though. So, planning session. This gorgeous little sticker here. I don't know if you can see. It's got a little castle on the planner, which I think is gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to pop that down here and then get my yellow one. And what I've started to do, I saw it on, I think I actually saw it on a um, Bible journaling video 
where someone put the stickers down and then drew round them and it's something I've kind of been playing around with a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to go round it in yellow, just make it stand out a little bit more. Um, on sometimes, sometimes I have sort of plonked that in the middle of a um, half box and stuck it down so it stands out a little bit. But I quite like that. It's a little bit different. Um, what else do I want to do? Habit trackers. So that's going to be my meals for the week. No, it's not going to be my meals for the week because I've got my meal stickers down. Sorry, this is me talking out loud again, trying to find everything in the mass of stickers that I seem to have. So we're going to go with these. I'm going to go with the glittery one at the bottom. Um, Actually, this can be my writing count for how much I've written each day for my dissertation. Um, I'm going to put that there. There's my pale blue. I'm going to put a pale blue one down because I like my pale blue one. And then I think we're going to go with sort of the darker, ready orangey one that's on here because I do quite like this colour it's sort of orange but it's not something different um, so uh, low carb swimming uni work work prep or me time let's go with some self care instead peel from the left there we go, that is working. Where those stubborn stickers do not want to come up, peeling from the left is definitely working. Okay, so I said, didn't I? Self care, swimming, low carb, and I'm going to put work prep in because I've got my writing count there. We'll put work prep down here just to find a way to get ready. Um, finish off setting up my teacher planners, going into school, getting everything finalised because we've only got one day before the kids are back in this year. Last year we had two. So it's going to give us a huge amount of time to do that. Um, and just pausing for a moment, having a think. I need to put some four boxes down since that was the whole inspiration for this spread. So I'm going to put the ice cream down. To celebrate the fact that this is still summer just and I'm gonna pop it in there um, so I'm gonna save the unicorn and I'm gonna straddle it across Tuesday and Wednesday like that yeah yeah why not let's do that um, and then I had on the orange sheet some here we go, some of these three sort of check boxes. So I'm gonna put one down on Friday just to do kind of like a final work check. Have I done everything I needed to do? If not, I better hurry up and do it. Things to get ready for the week. Um, I'm going to put a Yellow one down. Come on. There you go. There we go. It is, I suppose, a little bit worrying when you're talking to stickers. I don't know if I've asked that question before about whether other people talk to their stickers or not, or whether that's just me. So I've got one for the bank holiday, just kind of for the first couple of days, one there. And I'm actually going to very carefully try to cut one of these in half. It's a little ruler. I'm going to try and cut my glittery one in half that way. that 
for a check-in towards the end of the first part of the week. So I'm going to pop him down here for a bit of a check-in as well. So that I think is going to be it. That is the first plan with me for the design team challenge for August, which is Brighten Up Summer. Brighten Up Summer, it's not Brighten Up Summer at all, it's Brighten Up Sunshine. We've already done Brighten Up Summer, it's Brighten Up Sunshine. Um, I love the way this has turned out. I'm just gonna get my planner out, pop them back in so that we can see how it looks. All set in to the month. Um, I haven't got my wacky holidays in there at the moment, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, as you can see, got my vertical ready for next week. There we go. So that was part one. As I said, I'm going to do um, a plan for me and my passion planner as well. So for that, I'm going to start with the flexible kit and then I'm going to build up from there um, and hopefully you guys will have lots of fun planning your weeks your sunshiny weeks um, if this has come out before you've done your planning I hope you've got a little bit of inspiration if you've already done yours I can't wait to see it remember to put them in the Facebook group and tag them on Instagram and we can't wait to see them all I'll see you soon guys